Thanks. We'll see you soon. Shouldn't be here. I came to say goodbye to Langston. Well, she's in there with her mom. And after the non-wedding today, I think it's safe to say this is not a guy-friendly zone right now. Hi. I just came to say thank you. Really? Well, I'm sorry about how things turned out, but I'm not sorry that you invited me. So maybe we could do this again sometime? Uh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, all right. Good night. Night. Is anyone lurking out there? You mean like reporters? Star, honey. I mean, is anyone lurking? No, no one's here. It's just us. Us against the world. No, 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 please. please stop holding on to me, girls. I I'm not going to collapse. We never said that you were. Dorian Lord does not collapse. Yeah, well, we just thought that you might like to use the company. No, 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 that's fine. It's very sweet of you, but, you know, <clears throat> the worst has already happened. It can only go uphill from here. What's the spirit? Yeah, I've just got to face it. David has left me. Because that's what David does. He leaves. Don't worry. I'm gonna be all right. Nobody does it better. Oh, yeah, of course it does. Give me that. Dear Dorian, I cannot marry you. Blah, 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 blah. I can't be tied down. It's not you, Dorian. It's me. Lots of love, David. <laughs> this is vintage, Vickers. How can you say that you didn't write this? I didn't! Look, I, I admit that that does look like my handwriting. And I may have said if... Well, I did actually say that once. But I didn't write this letter, Uncle Clint. Yeah, I know that. But Dorian doesn't. Wait. You. You're the one who nabbed me from the cabana. Ooh, you catch on fast. Oh, I can't stand this room. It just reeks of David and David's things. How about you just go take a nice, long, hot shower, and Star and I will de davify the room. Oh, that is a great idea. We will get rid of every trace of it. Oh, good. Okay? Oh, good just... luck with that. And by the way, that letter you've been trying to hide from me, David's letter, destroy it. Okay, absolutely. And, and don't worry, by the time you come out here, it'll be like David never even existed. Just go turn on the hot water and... And just wash that man right out of my hair? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Oh. What a disaster. Uh, yeah, you think? <laughs> oh. Dorian, Dorian, she's just in so much shock. Oh, yeah, well, me too. It looks like they had it together this time, both of them. Looks can be deceiving. Oh, kind of the way James looks at you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. No, never mind. I... Sorry that I said it. No, but you did, so, um... Why don't, why don't you finish it? Don't believe everything James says, okay? James has not lied to me. At least not yet, and... 
If he does, I'll call him out on it. Don't worry. Not yet? It sounds like you're planning on seeing him again. Are you? Excuse me. You really don't waste any time, do you? When did you decide it was okay to start using my jacket? I don't go to a lot of weddings. I needed something to wear. Next time, ask. Ooh, why so touchy? What's wrong, Blondie didn't want you? Who was that chick anyway? Somebody I'm not gonna go near for a very, very long time. Unless I wanna get tested for another STD. What's the big deal? Don't you have a clinic on speed dial anyway? You're on a roll tonight, Twinkle Toes. I hope you're still laughing when you have to come up with your half of the rent. What? Dude, you said you had it covered. You told me that you owed me for, you know, leaving me alone with Dad? That was before you decided to grab everything that used to be mine. Like Langston? I'll take the rent in cash. Going to bed. Bobby, look. Stop. And if you don't want me to go out with Langston, just say so. I don't want you to go out with Langston. Sorry I took so long. Who knew two glasses could break into so many little pieces? Oh, yeah, well, not as many pieces as Dorian's in right now. Well, that's what happens when you give your heart to the wrong person. Give my heart to the wrong person? I have not given my heart to James. I wasn't talking about James. Um, are you sure about that? Oh, my. Because you managed to bring him up quite a bit. I was well, just looking out for you, Langston. When I asked you if you were going to see him again, and all of a sudden you had an emergency run to go find the dustpan and brush, it's the only thing I was talking about. Okay, well, maybe I am going to see James again. I mean, we had a lot of fun. Why shouldn't I try and get to know him? Because I don't want you to get hurt, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you really that scared that I'll get hurt, Star? Or is it something else? Forget it. I don't have to talk to you about this anymore. Do whatever you want. I don't care. No, no, no. I, I think you do care. I think you care more than you want to. I mean, you love Cole, but you just can't get James off your mind. You really care about her, don't you? I mean, you pretend that it's all just a little hookup, but there's really something there. No, I just don't think brothers should date each other's exes. Okay done. Are you serious? Well, I'm not saying I'll never talk to the girl again, but I won't ask her out. Thanks. Look, don't get your hopes up, Bobby. And just because I'm backing off doesn't mean that Langston's gonna come running right back to you. I just... I don't want you making the same mistake that I did. What mistake? I should have come talk to you the first second I even thought about cheating on Marco. You might have helped me realize I was just fooling myself. So if you're keeping something inside, don't. Just tell me what's going on with James. Okay. Okay, you're right. I've been thinking about James. A lot. More than I should, and I... It doesn't even matter. I have no right to be getting jealous. I... I don't love James. I love Cole. And no matter what problems we have, we're gonna work it out together. Dar, before she comes out, um, I just wanna let you know I'm backing off of James. No, Lyson, you don't have to do that. Not for me, anyway. I just don't want there to be any awkwardness between us. And if I still feel like pissing Ford off, I'll just... I'll find some other way. Well done, girls. Thank you. Are you feeling better? A bit, yes. But I'm gonna feel a lot better soon. Oh, no, no, no. Why? What's up with the computer? I just want to check my emails. Mm -mm. No way. Yeah. It's a known fact. No one is allowed on my face within 24 hours of a breakup. Who said anything about my face? No status updates. You are way too vulnerable right now. 
I have to see what David is saying about me. No, you don't. It's just gonna make it worse. You just have to wipe David from your mind. You have to rip off the bandage, even if it hurts. How? You leave that to us. What's your plan? My plan? Yeah, you can't just drift. You gotta do something with your life besides boosting cars and chasing girls. God, I'll figure something out. Hey, what happened to starting your own body shop? Oh, you're a front me the down payment? I don't know. I don't got that kind of money. Exactly. Actually, you should probably go to school first before you start your own business. Right. What school is gonna take me? LU might. Once you pass the GED. Wait, Linkson goes to LU, right? I thought she wasn't on your radar. <laughs> she's not. But she's not the only girl in the world. <laughs> okay. David's my face page. You're there, he is unfriended. Oh, right. I want nothing more to do with that man. I don't want to see him or his profile again. You don't need him. Right. All I want is peace. Peace and surrender. Please, wait for me.